Okay, so I'm getting a lot of video requests for how to get that pop in your shoulder when you throw the uppercut and the hook. And really, there's no trick to it. This is not something where someone just tells you, hey, it's this, and then you get it. It's more of an acquired skill from throwing thousands and thousands of punches. So I don't really like to give tips or tricks because I don't really believe in shortcuts. I really just believe in hard work. But there is such thing as proper technique, of course. And if you're doing the wrong technique, that's going to slow down some of your progress. So I'm going to try to break this down for you to help you get that pop in your shoulder, which is really just going to give you more snap in your shots. The best way to explain it is off the left hook. So I want my punches to be efficient. If I have my hand out here, loaded, ready to throw the left hook, okay, my body is going to start the process. My body turns. See, here's my hand. My body turns. There comes a point where I can't turn anymore. I'm just gonna bring the arm along with me. There's no more give. I'm here. Let's say I'm not even throwing the left hook. Let's just say my hand is here. I'm turning my body at the shoulder. See? There comes a point where I can't go anymore. And that's when my arm has to follow along. It has no choice. At that point where I'm at full extension, fully engaged, that's where I want to relax and let my shoulder come through. Now, without the body movement, it's not going to happen. I can't just pop shoulders. I mean, I can roll it like this, but I can't really pop it without body. It's like when you're going along in a car, the car's going 60 miles an hour. You're going 60 miles an hour. If the car hits something, there you go. Well, that's what you want to do to your fist. You want to make your body go 60 miles an hour. Put on the brakes and have your shot come all the way through. So the key is body engaged until there's no more give in your shoulder and then allow your shoulder to relax through the shot. So let's say I'm in a, in a hook, and then I just let it go. Body, shoulder, body, shoulder. Now it's hard to demonstrate it slow. So if I'm going fast, watch my shoulders. They're popping, they're popping. My shoulder is, coming through. But the body has to lead that. Without the body, I'm just going like this, it's not going to have much on it. So the key to getting this shoulder pop is to get your body engaged, your shoulders turning. Full extension, so there's no more give. And then let it come through, relax. One of the best ways you can drill this is just shoe shines. Let your body turn. And just go like this for a round straight. See my shoulder blade come forward. I'm not doing this. It's not good enough. Body. <laughs> All right, so get your body engaged. Get full extension here. Relax and snap through. Work it with the shoe shine. And hopefully that gets you more snap in your uppercuts and in your hooks. All right, peace, guys.